Welcome back, YouTube. J-Bob, the video game slob, coming back after a couple days. Uh, yeah, missed a few days there. Tried to do a video the one day. Kids' friends come over, ring the doorbell right in the middle of the video. Ruin the whole thing. So there you go. You know we do these things. One cut, one take. Uh, yeah, and this is why I'm J-Bob, the video game slob. We got stuff everywhere. Look at this, though. You know you want that. Miracle Whip. How much did that cost? $1.83. Well, that seems crazy. Salad dressing. Not what I would call Miracle Whip. Uh, all these friggin' mason jars came with the house, and so... You know how it is. You live somewhere 11 years, and you never <laughs> go down to the basement and dig out all the crap they left. Uh, so there you go. Uh, no, I'm trying to get all the freaking cords um, that we have here for all the various systems cleaned up and tagged and... Uh, yeah, that kind of thing. Uh, so there you go. That's why we're the slob. You know, we try to do this thing where we put them in things, PlayStation cords in a PlayStation box, all the controllers, whatever, in a different box. But that's not why we're here. We're here today for the craziest, dumbest thing that I collect. I don't know. I love collecting this stuff. It really has been a passion of mine uh, in a way for a while. Uh, but when I go to the grocery store, you got two kids. Uh, you know, you got to go every week. There's all these cool promos, and a lot of them revolve around video games and nerds stuff. Uh, so this is what I collect. Because if you got to pay $1.29 for mac and cheese from Kraft, you might as well get a nice collectible Super Mario box, right? Uh, and it's got the fun little shapes. I actually ate this last week. This is uh, brand new. This is out now. Um, and uh, my kid did not fill it in, but she did the little thing with her finger and followed the... Uh, you know, maze around, and so, yeah, I don't know, I'm just hoping that for $1.29, I buy that, we eat it, it's a decent meal, uh, it didn't taste terrible, if we're being honest, and, uh, you know, in the future, somebody pays me a dollar and two bucks, and then I've, uh, I've made that equal, uh, so here you go, here was another fun one from years ago, uh, at the gas station, I think I found these, actually, Dungeons and Dragons there, with the cool mimic, um, thing, Oh, jeez. When was this? Does it even say? 2022. Is this like two years ago? Uh, we got a pair of those. It's not video game. It's, it's Dungeons & Dragons, so I kept it. Uh, a lot of times I'll enter these things. You know, 1 in 500 means you'll never win. Uh, but Lunchables was doing these Switch uh, things. Never did win. I think it was like 2023, if I had to guess. I don't know. This was a while ago, but not like a crazy long time ago. I don't know. I've seen anything on any of these. But uh, that was that one. <laughs> this is kind of a throwback one. Famous Amos Overwatch. Why? Why is Famous Amos <laughs> in any way? Like, these were cookies when I was a kid. And if you've never eaten a Famous Amos cookie, they are harder than squirrel shit. There you go. That expired on the July of 2019. So this is probably like 2018. So there you go. That's like a six-year-old one. But you got a free loot box. I never played Overwatch, to be honest. So I have no idea... That code went unused. Uh, magazines sometimes. Uh, if I get a magazine or I'm somewhere, I'll use an X-Acto knife. Not somewhere. If, you know, if I have it in my house and cut them out. So there you go. There's the uh, advertisement that went with the Lunchables. Uh, this was a Best Buy, I think, 99 cent thing that you could buy. Uh, obviously a prank video game box, and I decided to keep this years later. Uh, not thinking it would be really worth any money, but thinking it was cool. They were on clearance, and so I bought them all out. Again, I want to say, like, maybe 2018, 2019, and I think somewhere I do have Bird Watcher. I don't think I ever did find Thumb Wrestler, uh, but that's where those are. Again, kids like Lunchables. Oh, but this one is 1 in 750, so twice as many chances to lose, or one and a half times as many chances to lose for Super Mario Odyssey. Another Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, yeah, here's a weird one. They do really weird, uh, things with, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Was that 2021? Maybe. Yeah, I doubt those codes still work. I did play that game. I always try to beat all the, uh, games. Oh, no, here we go. Here's the proof in the pudding. I did get Thumb Wrestler on the Z-Box one. So that's legit. I've often thought about printing those up myself and trying to use those to sell old terrible video games, just sliding those on the outside. Um, I need to work with a publishing company here, uh, not a print company here, see if we can get that done. So yeah, Overwatch was everywhere, man. Uh, chocolate fudge Pop-Tarts, 
I hate to admit 2018 that I fed my kids pop tarts, but you know, there you go. I'll <laughs> probably admit that I ate a couple of those. There we go. We did. We had the whole set. Okay, so we did have the whole set there. Uh, a Bird Watcher four. Uh, my buddy Dave was always really good. Uh, he had a daughter who was older than mine at the time, and so going out and getting the Super Mario movie uh, McDonald's. Oh, there you go. That's actually a nice Bowser kind of vignette there uh, thing. So yeah, he always got those for us. I'm. I, I admit they still make a ton of these. Uh, and I probably don't have them all. Got a little paper thing going there. Uh, funnables, which are essentially just fruit snacks. There you go, fruit snacks. Uh, but, you know, if you got to buy your kids fruit snacks, why not one time spend five or six bucks, get the Mario version. <laughs> but I just think it's kind of a, I don't know, a fun cross-reference or history. Uh, sometimes it makes you try food that you never really had before. I've never eaten the Totino's stuffers before or after. Uh, but to get the NBA 2K22, uh, I did that. Uh, these were, I think this is what I think it is. Yeah, this got you a free two-week code for uh, Market or uh, um, Game Pass. I bought the Vejibus out of these. I think you'll see a couple of them in here. Uh, I think I bought three or four or five of those. Because it was like $2 for Pop-Tarts, and then you get two weeks of... Uh, there's an Overwatch one. And then you'd get uh, two weeks of... Uh, you know, free games. So that was really good. Always fun to hunt down achievements. Um, there you go. Fruit Loops, Xbox One S. So that dates that. Again, probably 2021, 2022. There was a bit of a golden age for this stuff. Um, you just don't see a ton of them out there anymore. Here's a Rice Krispies one. I think I have tons of other ones of these hidden around in different places. Uh, this is just a stack that I had to pull down to move some stuff around. Uh, so if you like this stuff, comment down <laughs> in the end, or in the comments. If you collect this stuff, let me know. I'm probably the only person dumb enough uh, to be buying cereal just to get the box for it. But, you know, Rice Krispies, Fruit Loops, they don't taste that bad. Let me know your favorite cereal down in the comments. J-Bob, the video game slob, coming back at you. Don't snap, crackle, or pop before I see you again.